Removing thatch, aerating, and overseeding will help build a great lawn. Thatch is a dense mat of roots, stems, and grass clippings that collects between the soil and blades of grass. Thatch blocks nutrients from the grass roots. If one half inch deep or greater, it damages turf. A bluebird power rake removes thatch. Soil compaction, another major enemy of your lawn, is caused by traffic, such as walking and mowing. The problem is greatest in the top two to three inches of the soil. Bluebird aerators relieve soil compaction by removing evenly spaced cores of turf up to three inches deep. Air exchange is improved and the soil can easily absorb nutrients. A lawn that is thinning or has bare patches or places with no grass will be helped by a bluebird seeder. The seeder's delta blade reels cut precisely aligned rows that allow the seed to penetrate into the topsoil. Before using the equipment, be sure children, bystanders, and animals are completely away from the work area. Clear the lawn of debris. Clearly mark rocks or other fixed objects. Check for hidden electrical cables or similar things in the surface of the lawn. Put on protective clothing, protective shoes, eye protection, and hearing protection. Now, a look at the sequence of steps involved in starting the engine. First, familiarize yourself with the engine operator controls. To begin, turn the on-off switch on. Turn the fuel lever on. Turn the choke lever on if starting the engine when it's cold. Set the throttle lever to fast idle, which is in the middle. Give a sharp pull on the starter handle to start the engine. Turn the choke off. You may need to move the choke back toward the off position in increments until the engine runs smoothly. For operating an aerator, set the throttle to a speed that enables you to comfortably walk with the machine. For operating a power rake or seeder, set the throttle to fast. To stop the engine, turn the on-off switch to off. Let's begin with our first lawn improvement job, dethatching. We recommend dethatching in early spring or late fall to allow the lawn to recover after combing. Lawns with deep thatch exceeding three quarters of an inch may be best dethatched in two treatments, spring and fall, to avoid major shock to the lawn. Before you start dethatching, mow your lawn one half inch shorter than usual. Also, be sure it's dry. Wet conditions can cause extensive damage to healthy grass. A depth lever on the side of the machine raises and lowers the flail blades. Simply push in and move the lever to the correct height. Higher numbers increase the depth of the blades. Determine the correct depth by placing the depth lever such that the blades just touch a flat surface, such as a sidewalk or driveway. Note this setting. It is the one you will use at the work site. However, when the blades are lowered, don't move the machine across any surface other than a lawn. This could damage the blades. Set the depth lever to transport when pushing the machine to and from the work site. When you press the drive engagement bail against the handle, the reels begin to rotate. Hold the bail against the handle securely to keep the drive for the reels engaged. Bluebird power rakes have an adjustable handle that allows for three different operator heights as well as a folded position for easy transport. use the dethatcher. First, start the engine. Then, set the depth lever in working position. Hold the drive engagement bail against the handle and proceed. To finish the dethatching job, remove all of the thatch the machine has brought up from your lawn and place it in a compost bin or dispose of it properly. Next in creating a great lawn, aerating. For optimal effectiveness, you should aerate your lawn at least once a year. Spring between March and May and fall between August and November are the best times to aerate cool season grasses such as fescue, ryegrass, and Kentucky bluegrass. Warm season grasses such as zoysia grass, Bermuda grass, and St. Augustine benefit the most from spring and summer aeration. In drier climates, aeration increases drought resistance while decreasing the amount of watering necessary. Aerating works best when the soil is soft and moist. If you are unsure of the ground condition as in a soil with high clay content, conduct a simple test. Using a garden hand spade or a large screwdriver, you should be able to push the tool into the ground two to three inches with little effort. If you can't, water the lawn a day before aerating, but be sure the soil is not muddy. The aerator depth control knob allows you to set the coring depth. Turning the knob counterclockwise increases the length of the cores pulled. Turning the knob clockwise decreases coring depth. 
The rear wheel control handle, when pushed down, places the tines in position on the ground for aerating. Never cross hard surfaces or objects, sidewalks, driveways, stepping stones and such, with the tines down. The throttle clutch control lever on the handlebar is used to engage the engine. To use the aerator, start the engine. Push down on the rear wheel control handle to lower the aerating tines into the ground. The rear wheels will rise. Push down on the handlebar sufficiently to raise the front wheel. Slowly engage the clutch control lever on the handlebar and aerate. The aerators are not designed to be used on steep slopes. Do not operate this equipment on hills exceeding 35% grade. The machine could roll over. Bluebird's patented freewheeling outer tines make turning the machine easy. The weights on Bluebird aerators can be removed so that the machine can be lifted more easily. Bluebird also offers tow-behind aerators that can be pulled by a garden tractor. These are ideal for large residences and commercial areas. Optional weight containers can be placed on the unit to ensure optimal soil penetration. Tip wheels can be used to allow the aerator to pass through narrow openings. After aerating, water the lawn and apply fertilizer. Our next job for lawn improvement, overseeding. The best time to overseed is the fall, when the new grass won't be competing with crabgrass. Let's discuss operator controls. The seed hopper holds the grass seed. The open and close handle opens or closes the seed hopper gate located on the underside of the machine. The seed hopper cover features an application chart showing the seeder dial settings based on the type of grass seed being used. A depth lever on the side of the machine raises and lowers the delta reels. Simply push in and move the lever to the correct height. Higher numbers increase the depth of the reels. The depth should be set such that the reels slice into the ground only about one eighth of an inch to one quarter of an inch. Seed planted any deeper than that may not germinate. Set the depth lever to transport when pushing the machine to and from the worksite. To operate the seeder, start the engine. Set the depth control lever, hold the drive engagement bale against the handle, open the seed gate and proceed with overseeding. Run the seeder in two applications, with the second application made at a 45 degree angle to the first pass. This will give the newly planted grass a full, lush appearance when it sprouts. As soon as overseeding is complete, water thoroughly, then water lightly each day until the seed germinates. Once the seed has sprouted, water regularly to encourage deeper growth. Bluebird seeders and power rakes are the ultimate combo working together to revitalize your lawn, while Bluebird aerators bring a breath of fresh air and nutrients. Now on to making your lawn green, lush, and healthy. And remember that Bluebird has a full line of outdoor power equipment, including the bed bug, a versatile tool for shaping a planting bed, preparing for bed edging or paver bricks, or laying cable for pet fencing or outdoor lighting. The stump grinder, the perfect tool for removing stumps. And the SC550 sod cutter for preparing a new landscaped bed, clearing for a sidewalk or driveway, or taking on home improvement projects that require temporarily removing sod. Offering the most reliable turf care and power equipment in the industry and superior customer service for more than 40 years. Bluebird.